Hi, I finished a net galley arc that comes out on the 31st of October. And it's called The Trunk by King Rea Rayong, and it's translated from the Korean. And actually, I found out that it's going to be turned into a Netflix series. It's just it's been announced recently that it's going to be turned into a Netflix series. So that'll be quite interesting. It's listed as a feminist thriller. And I struggled with that. I, it wasn't for me, it wasn't a thriller in the way that I enjoy thrillers. It wasn't. But the story itself, it takes you sort of to some very strange places. Our main character, Inji, she's late 20s and she is a field wife at NM, which is an elite division of wedding and life. NM provide wives for elite clients. They can contract to have a wife for a year, which is ideal for these, for people who've had marriages fail, who don't want to have long term term commitments. They just grab a wife for a year. And so Inji becomes a wife with everything that is involved with like you go to the housework, the shopping, the sex, you know, everything. She is the wife of the year. It's, it's almost like yeah, prostitution. Yeah, but you know, rather than having a two or three clients a night, you have one client for a year. Perhaps. Um she enjoys the freedom. It gives her chance to get away from her mother. And it gives her a chance to push the boundaries of her body and other things. You know, she, she it, it allows her to, the freedom to push the boundaries. Um, so when one of her ex-husbands wants to renew the contract for another year, her initial reaction is to say no, because she likes to reset she likes to go into every year a new marriage, starting at zero, blank canvas. But she does say yes. So she goes back to this husband. We never know his name. He's just referred to as husband the whole time. And he's a music producer and he's got a, a client. Uh, you know, he's producing music for somebody again who's you don't know his name either anonymous but he we see him he's driven by impulses um you know he he gets injured to watch porn and they they do what of you know they act out what they've been watching um and she she grows empathetic with him towards him and you see in this marriage how she lives in a marriage, but maintains a distance, almost. So she 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 doesn't get manipulated. No, that's saying that marriage is manipulative. It isn't. It's she doesn't get crushed by the whole form of marriage. That sounds wrong as well. You know what I mean. It gives her the freedom. However, she does become victim of a stalker. And this is where we have a sort of slightly dark turn. Because she reports him to the company. Um, and then what happens to him? It's very, very dark. And we see a darker side of the people running the company. Um, The throughout the book we learn about Inji's life, um, her past relationships, her friendships, and what we see is that you know she's now heading towards thirty. She's always taking stock 
of her life. You know, she, she's had all these years being a, a field wife. And so, you know, what does the future hold for? She's, she's coming to, she's taking stock of her life to see what she, where she wants to go in the future. It's a novel with so many sort of different levels and themes. You've got prostitution, you've got slavery, you've got um, trafficking almost. You've got almost like a, a discussion about love and marriage. Um, it's quite, it is an enthralling read. And it, it, it does take you to sort of places where you didn't quite expect you were going to go. But... <sighs> thriller I, I i don't think i class it as a thriller but i enjoyed it so it comes out on the 31st of october when the netflix series comes out i don't know but it's called the trunk by king rayo um so happy reading take care